I'm running for it. Hi, I'm Christelle, and I don't enjoy exercising that much, but walking, I love. Something about being outside, soaking up the sun, admiring Mother Nature, and it's only for 30 minutes. But the question is, can I commit for 30 days every day without making excuses, without being lazy, and thinking of 101 other things that I could be doing instead of just making it a priority? I'm making it a challenge for 30 days because 30 days, I can make that kind of commitment. This girl might have a little bit of commitment issues. What I'm hoping will happen is that I'll release some weight, I'll feel better about myself, and hopefully have some more energy. I'm not planning on changing what I eat too much, I just need to get moving. And what really motivated me was my 72 year old dad is more active than I am. He walks every day, sometimes twice a day, and even in crappy weather. So what's my excuse? Let's get walking. when you start exercising and then your skin doesn't stop itching. I don't understand what happens. I'm running for it. Okay. I just don't understand. Like, is it the blood circulating that's causing the prickly, prickliness of our skin? Like, it's just driving me nuts. In the same spot, and then I'm thinking, well, maybe my pants are. It's my pants. Clean pants. Still does it. I don't understand. Sorry if it's really windy. I don't have a microphone on here with, a, with one of those what are they called mouse thingies. I can't think of it anyway. It's driving me nuts because I'm like scratching every 10 seconds. People are gonna think it's got some kind of condition. But they like it. Some days I don't get it, so I don't think it's my clothes, but I don't think it is. It's my skin. The blood, the blood gushing through my thighs. And it's like inner thighs and outer thighs. And the top of my feet are itchy right now, but oh my god, but my knee. I don't know what it is. I mean, if you do know, please put it in the comments because I'm just always curious about it. Like, I want answers! And I'm not the only one. Like, I know other people like get itchy too. But I think after a while it goes away. So I know this is just the initial thing when you start exercising again and you get this. I don't know what it is. Just thought I'd throw it out there. All right, it's day three on the walking challenge. I'm extremely tired. I've had a crazy morning and I really just want to nap, but I can't. I need to go walk. I'm going to go pick up my daughter. I'm going to get my walk in that way. I'm gonna go a little bit past the school, turn around, go pick her up and come home and I should be gone about 40 minutes. Day three is a struggle. Okay, I just finished that walk. I walked 3.32 kilometers. I'm not sure how much that is in miles, um, but I feel better now. I always feel better after I walk. It's just trying to get to the walk, but it's done. I can rest, I got some stuff to do still and I'm hoping for a early bedtime. It's 4.30 in the afternoon. This is day seven of my walking challenge. And I'm so tired. And I haven't walked today. I've had such a busy day. I'm 
my son to school, picked him up, went to Costco, picked up my daughter from school, then helped her do chores. And it's just one thing after another. And I'm so tired. I think I snapped for five minutes. The kids keep coming in and out of my room and I can't sleep. I'm pulling up my pants and I'm tying up my shoes and I'm gonna go for day seven. I need to mark that X on the calendar. That's what motivates me. Just that, that satisfaction of taking that marker and making that X. So let's hope next week will be a lot easier. So, I'm out here walking. I've walked for just over a kilometer and it feels like I've walked double that. And I think it's the extra weight of the boots, the coat, I'm getting shin splints, and my pace is much slower. That's okay. I'm still being active, I'm still walking. And you know what? I actually quite love this. And I haven't seen anyone on my path yet. So it's very relaxing and calming. I'm not listening to any music. I'm just enjoying the nature, just being in the present moment and letting my mind drift to wherever it needs to go. The end of a bitch! Today is day 25 of 30. I'm already behind three days, but I'm gonna make up for that because today I'm going to do a double walk. And I'm really, really unmotivated today. Really super exhausted. I had pretty bad sleep. I slept pretty solid for about four hours. And then after that, I was wide awake. Really tried hard to stay off my phone. And uh, I eventually succumbed to my phone. <laughs> was on my phone probably for about an hour. So I didn't get much sleep. So I'm super, super tired, but I'm forcing myself to go for this walk, but I'm not gonna overdo it. I'm gonna take it easy. Like I'm already out of breath and I just started. So what's that saying? Slow it down, Christelle, slow it down. All right, this is the second last day. I am now only a day behind. Yesterday I did a double walk spent over an hour walking and was able to put five kilometers in, which is, oh gosh, just 1.62 kilometers in a mile. So I can't do math right now. <laughs> and today I'm gonna do another double one and then I'll be caught up. And then tomorrow's my last day of the walk. So it's beautiful, it's sunny, I'm happy. And I'm almost there. Completing 30 minutes 
minutes of walking a day was doable. So what kind of was expected was there was going to be days that I couldn't do my walk. Days that were filled with appointments and errands and doing a hundred mom things for my kids and family. Like those days, oh, I had to take gravel to fly. I get motion sickness. So when I took gravel on those days, no, no go. But I always made up for it. So I would just do double walks on those days. And boy, was that hard. It was hard, but I did it. I pushed through and I made it a priority. So what did I gain after 30 days? Well, my sleep improved a lot. So I went into more of a deeper sleep. And when I woke up, I was able to go back asleep again. So that was really nice because oftentimes I'm wide awake after I wake up. After a week or so, my energy picked up. So I was always hitting those afternoon crashes. Well, this time it happened less and less. And sometimes I just moved my walk closer to those times that I would have that crash and I would just get another burst of energy and I was good to go. In body weight, I was actually shocked by this. I started at 195.5 and I actually ended up gaining 0.5 pounds. <gasps> I gained 0.5 pounds from walking 30 days. Huh? Something ain't right here. So to be honest, I was pretty bummed out. I felt hopeless. I felt like giving up. And then I left it at that. And my husband, after a couple days, asked me what my measurements were. And I realized I didn't take them. So I took my measurements. But lo and behold, I ended up dropping two inches. Not bad for considering that I didn't change anything I was eating. I just walked. My bust started at 46 inches. I dropped 0.5 inches after 30 days. The waist started at 42.5 inches. I dropped one inch at 41.5 inches. My gut was 43 inches to start. I ended at 42.5 inches, dropped 0.5 inches. The hips stayed the same at 43. The arms stayed the same at 13 inches and the thighs stayed the same at 24 inches. My weight, Beginning of October 1st was 195.5 pounds. On October 30th, I ended at 196 pounds, gaining 0.5 pounds, but dropping two inches in body fat. So that became motivating again. And that just goes to show that muscle weighs more than fat. So I replaced my little flabbiness to more muscle tone, which I'm happy with. Even if I hadn't dropped weight, I just felt good being outside. It was really good for my mental health. So when spring comes, I'm going to do it again. And this time I'm going to be very mindful of what I'm eating because I feel like if you eat very cleanly and you're walking for 30 days, that's going to be a game changer for me. That was my 30 day walking challenge. It's now complete and I'm on to the next challenge. So thank you so much for watching. If you got a lot out of this video, please hit the like button and subscribe. It really helped with the channel and I'll see you guys in the next video. Love ya.